Hey, what's up guys? Rick007 here. I wanted to post this video for you guys from the perspective of the Relic Runner. So that way you can see how the battle plays out. And um, also I wanted to try it myself. I am not a very good Relic Runner. So if I could do it, you guys can definitely do it. You want to set up everyone in the back, just like before. Weapons of light, tethers, and sleepers at the ready. You're going to want to destroy a round of oracles. That way you can get your super up, and then you destroy one more, just to make sure that they aren't going off while you're DPSing the boss. Break a shield. Make sure you have a titan set up a blessing of light bubble. And if you are the relic runner, you're going to want to save your shield for the other side. If you have multiple titans, you can set up bubbles on both ends, which would be great. But uh, typically that isn't the case. You're lucky to have one bubble. But that one bubble is very important because you need the shield for this side. Here you will see my awesome relic running skills come into play as I missed the teleport zone, which ended up saving me because I didn't have a shield charge at that time. You see, one of, them, one of the people died, and we were still able to finish this. Even though he died and I died, they still had enough DPS and enough time to take down the Templar and get the challenge. You'll see it on the bottom left. Everyone wipes, but it will say challenge complete. Everyone got their loot. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. If you found this video useful, drop me a like. I would appreciate it greatly. And also, guys, just wanted to say thank you for all the comments and likes on the last video. I really appreciate all the support and all the feedback. See you guys next time.